Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Just a quick little thing I'd like to show here. Snuffoos! Yeah! I remember I was saying that the next level is based off of these things. Well basically what you're supposed to do, pop them out of the frame, make them into a cube, and well... Yeah, that, that's exactly what that next level looks like. <laughs> So it's, it's kind of like a little logic puzzle type thing. I'll get them better in the camera here. And so, yeah, what you're supposed to do is just kind of figure out where the poop, these things are supposed to go via logic. And while it does seem pretty simple and the concept is pretty simple, well, well, there's actually more colors. And you, yeah, you can make cubes with these as well, but I mean, there's a total of six colors, and they can be used to make all sorts of different larger formations, such as this. <laughs> so it gets more complicated the more you actually add to the puzzle. Like You see, you can actually make all these little giblets on this thing right here, and yeah, it, it definitely gets pretty dang difficult, but... There's also a Snafus 2, which you, which I got in all three of the levels here. You have two of each in each level here, and what you're supposed to do is make a solid core cube. Like, you're supposed to fill up every little space with a piece of foam. <laughs> and hypercubes, which have these uh, pentagonal-type cutouts, and you can make all sorts of formations like that. But those are a whole other can of worms I'm not getting into this video. I'm just just kind of showing you what they might be referencing here in the next galaxy. And this right here is the thing that I actually think they're referencing. This is a Happy Cube. Really, really old. I got this when I was a kid. <laughs> and it's, uh, I was like from a Dairy Queen that's in, no longer in business. It's very dirty. You can barely even see the faces on it. But yeah, the objective is the same. Pop them out of the frame, turn them into a cube, but there's also different levels of this, which can be made into sort of like this. This is like, uh, whoop! <laughs> this is like the Americanized version of the original Happy Cube here, which has, uh, six of each in, like, say, junior difficulty, and six of each in a novice difficulty, six of each in advanced, six in ex expert, and all of those can be combined into even more massive formations that are even harder than their individual difficulties may suggest. And, <laughs> and that is your introduction to foam puzzle cubes. Let's get to the actual walkthrough. All right, back to gameplay, and you know, as you'll see, the background and everything is different when you're in a different world. Holy poopers! Holy poopers! There's a lot of hungry lumas out there in space. Those guys have huge appetites. Then try and collect as many star bits as you can. You're gonna need them. Yes, I will. We know that. So, uh, yeah, now do you get the reference? Now do you get the reference? <laughs> Yeah, it sure looks like a happy cube, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's Puzzle Plank Galaxy, the puzzling picture block. Oh boy! Woo <laughs> and here we are. That, wow, look at that. It sure indeed looks like a puzzle over there coming up. And look at this. Oh man, it's Snafus! <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a six by six square. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, one is like the one on the map is five by five. The other is six by six. Even though this has sort of sheer edges, it, it doesn't really show that well it, it, that we have multiple areas of gravity here. But details, details. <laughs> anyway, let's have a hold down. That's what the music is implying, baby. Woo! Or at least that, that's what it feels like to me. <laughs> There's Wigglers down there having a good time. There's a block up here also having a good time. You know, until he ground pound that and then we get an extra powerful spring out of it. And then it disappears and it's not having a good time because it no longer exists. Hello there, Wiggler. Oh man, what have I done? Yeah, you see that? You can jump on it to make it angry. Or, you know, transform it back. What the poop? Oh, there we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say. <laughs> I also think. Yeah, you can flip it around, squish it, just to get it out of your way if you'd like to as well. So it, don't jump on it, basically, until you flip it over. That's that's the key to success. Ooh, notes, 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 notes. Oh boy. This is a song. <laughs> it's a classic. Name that tune. Oh shoot, maybe I should be trying to get two notes at once here. Uh, well, I should be able to get it in time. Yeah, there we go. It's a little one-up bonus, baby. And... Ah, oh, just coins. Oh, man. Nothing nearly as spectacular as that tune. And the last one, of course, leads forward. Woo! Sheer edges around there, so... You ain't going anywhere around those parts. And we got some... Got some grinders hanging out over here. See that? Yeah. Looking you know, a little bit, a little bit different this time around. <laughs> uh oh! Oh no! Oh no! I'm so hungry. Will you give me 70 coins? It tastes so good. I need 70. I might transform. I don't even have that many. So uh, yeah, there's there's something going on here. <laughs> Let's get a couple coins there. It's kind of smush him. Get that out of the way. Now you notice on this side. Oops. <laughs> yeah, on this side, I, I almost ran myself into. There's that up there. You can actually reach that with a triple jump. But, uh. But, uh. But, uh. Well. Well. Let's do this the proper way. <laughs> Just to show you how things are working here normally. You're supposed to do here pound pound and pound and there's a pipe over there that'll you know I'll probably give us a couple of coins there for that hungry Luma so let's just save that for a little bit later on for when I do said secret star sounds good sounds good I forgot the name of said secret star actually I'll put it on there when it actually pops up there you know you know you know so now that we got that set up here we can go over the grinders all oh, that bush must have had something because it was shining but well well we're I don't really feel like going back now <laughs> I was already traveling along the way okay there's our comet metal and we got a little demonstration of stuff that's falling off over here yeah see they're cutting through the actual <laughs> So what we gotta do here is quickly get over to that Comet Metal before we fall into the Abyss. Well, I should say it falls into the Abyss, and there we go. And now we gotta just wait it out here, and, you know, it'll kinda, kinda give us a little wall jump area, nice and handy. I think that's a really cool aspect of these grinders. Because, yeah, you never see grinders do this sort of thing before, did ya? Did ya? Oh, no, 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 they are always on traps up to this point. And now they're cutting the very floor away from ya, including these flip bugs, which really don't need floors now, since they, you know, they, they kind of, oh, geez. <laughs> since they kind of, kind of do their own thing. We also got these guys, they're slurp bowls, yeah, remember them? They also, they also kind of suck onto Mario's hat there. And, yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Well, we get over here, and you're like, hmm, 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 nothing's going on. It has begun! The race has begun! <laughs> oh, and that other enemy that I passed was called Mandabug. Yeah, yeah, not that big of a deal or anything like that, but, uh, checkpoint! How's it going there? Lumily, level up! Welcome to Lumo Shop! I can tell you something else before only 30 stop bits! Uh, you know what, I'll actually do that, because I've already got 999 in the bank, anyway. So I, I, I could get a 1-up, as I said before, and I could get a, you know, extra health and whatnot. Mmm, delicious, I'm not doing anything, it just happened automatically. Oh, so full. I'm getting so good, I think I'm about to transform! Delicious, and I already grabbed it before it even hit the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And so you got this, uh, I got a little block puzzle hanging out here. It's, you know, it's... Hmm, you got some star, starry type formations on there. Can we go on the back side? Of course we can go on the back side. The edges are slightly rounded. So obviously we're supposed to make a picture out of this. It's like a slide puzzle. So we're just gonna go... Oh! 
and finally one more to go here. So let's just go on over here and pound the ground a few more times. Woo! Oh! 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 Double man the bug attack of doom! It sees me! It's going after me! And that's basically all it does. Now you see this one on the back. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, the hint... Well, it's, I guess it doesn't really say it, but it's Bugaboom's back is the name of the boss. <laughs> or maybe it's just Bugaboom. I just always hear Bugaboom's back because the player's guide. So you do that, you ground pound, and you get to, oh man, my buddy, he's gone, I am going to avenge him. And that's not, not really going to work there. Did you see what I did there? Did you see what I did there? I did a little move there that I didn't introduce up until this point because I wanted to show you. Uh, that's a pretty easy way to kill the boss. What you do is you do a spin and then you ground pound and you do like and you like do like the special homing ground pound. You see that there's like a little delay in midair and that's pretty helpful in this boss because you can kind of stand in one place and normally if you did that you just end up landing in its sharp toothy mandibles. And that wouldn't work, but if you do this backflip, and whoops, I did it poorly there. If you do that, you'll automatically home in on it and smash it. Alright, let's grab that star. <laughs> Woo! But, you know, there's a secret star to be collected here at the whole other planets, which I forgot the name of. Offhand, at least. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's just see what he can do here about that other star, because we got the puzzling picture block. Comet Metal 2. Oh yeah, baby, we are gathering up stuff. This path is split for the future! No dead ends this time, so you could take either one, but you know, gotta do both of them for 100%. Uh oh. Hey, looks like there's a few changes to the world map. Let's check it out! Let's not, and instead go back to the other planet. A toad came back with you, right? He sure loves delivering mail. Um, I, I didn't see him on the planet. Go ahead and humor him. Maybe he's got something for you. So he does have some mail over there. Uh, let's actually check that a little bit later on. You'll see. He'll keep that mail for us when we get there. Oh man, oh man, what is this? What is this? It's a tutorial. This is the grand world map. With the power of the Grand Star, we can travel great distances across space and time! Now we can travel to another world whenever you're ready, Captain! So if you wanted to, if you miss some stars, you can go back there and... Well, well... Wait, did I miss a... No, I didn't miss the... Oh, I guess it just shows the crown when I get both the, uh... uh Comet Medal along with the stars in said world, but obviously we're still going back here. So pack the puzzle playing galaxy here for the secret star, obviously. And we're gonna be trying to collect coins along the way, because obviously we seen that last other star there was a hungry Luma afoot there that wants to eat some coins. I never thought they are edible, but they most certainly are. Although star bits don't look all that edible either, but there is a star bit candy that Nintendo made IRL. So Maybe that's what Star Bits really are. They're actually just candy. Oh man, oh man. Could it be? Could it be? That's why they're so delicious, but that still doesn't explain the coins. <laughs> I thought one of these contained coins. I thought one of them. Oh yeah, I never checked this board here, did I? There's a tip. You can press Z in midair to ground pound. Really? They're giving this now? Um isn't that a little a little late? Isn't that... Isn't that... Yeah, I, I think it is. You can use a ground pound to stop enemies. Just press Z when you're in midair. See, that's on the bottom of that. It's just like, if you're looking around, you don't know where to go, that's where you should go. <laughs> I guess. This is also, I guess, it said ground pound tutorial of officialness. <laughs> and did these actually come back? Like, between that cutscene? It sure looks like, it. yeah, they actually do come back after you, yeah, it's like every time you go to one of those signboard tutorials, everything in the world resets. Craziness. Craziness. And I'm not really getting many, many coins out of these, am I? <laughs> I can, I, I can't, oh, I can't even get coins out of those. What is that? What is, what is, oh, what is this? Like, why, 
Why would I even bother killing you? Well, I guess to clear the way, I suppose. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna go over here... And I don't... Oh, I think I just got one ups out of this. No coins, so I can leave that to be... Okay, there we go, there we go coins. Delicious, delicious coins, yes. <laughs> I just forgot which ones contain coins, I guess. Because there's four of them! I, only, I just always remember that the bottom right one is the way forward, and I always, always should hit that one last. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go around here, and we're finally gonna actually feed this bad boy here. By going in here, we're gonna be doing the coin bonus challenge. This one's a little trickier than the other ones we've seen. Because we've actually gotta go up all on all these platforms up around here. And it's, it's still timed like the other ones here. I just like to do it one level at a time. Uh, oh, I don't have to go down there. Because, because basically, it's, uh... It's a little bit easier to do that when you don't have to jump all the time. And I didn't do this upper level, so I came back up over here. Victory! Woo! But I still... I still don't have enough coins! How? How? What? What? This is impossible! This can't be! Well, there's... whoops, there's still these. <laughs> if you forgot about those. Yes, yes. Uh oh Wait, how do I get... 70 coins out of this thing, because don't you need 70? Yeah, 70. Uh, no. No, I'm not- I'm not re nearly ready for you. <laughs> oh, that's right, they're up there, okay. There we go, that explains a whole lot. Uh, that's still not quite enough. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What am I missing on? Oh, that explains a lot too! Oh, no, that's still just star bits. Coins in the- okay, coins in the bush, coins in the bush. <laughs> We're really scra scavenging and scrounging for coins this one, I tell ya. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think I missed anything up to that point. Alright, here we go. Yes, transform, baby. Make a new world, a huge coin craving! Mm. Mm. <laughs> I wonder what they taste like. Maybe iron. Maybe gold, maybe silver, I don't know, I never really... I never really chewed on it, so I can't really say. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Wow, that's a heck of a planet! Woo! And we got some clouds! Clouds, I tell you! Woo! Long jump for the win! Uh, I, think I'm, I think I just can use regular jumps to get up here. Probably most ideal. By the way, your jump is a little bit floatier on the- oh no! Uh-oh. Oh man! Oh man, what do we do? What do we do? Oh man! Well, it's actually- you can see there's a thing on the back. See, there's- yeah, you can see that. And it's- it's stompable, <laughs> basically. <laughs> see, it, it, you can always tell when you're, a you're, when you're able to stomp something. And he's not a very aggressive boss unless he sees you, as you can tell there. Just, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, he just goes down. So, so easily. So easily. Okay, so I actually think this is the boss named the Bugaboom. I don't know what the other guy was. That double, that double bug stack. <laughs> so now we got some bombs dropping down from the sky from, uh... That spot there, you know, I, let's just not question it too much. Use this, go up the- oh shoot, I, I flubbed it up. I flubbed it up. <laughs> We're still okay though. We can get up there. Oh yeah, like a pro. Two hits, and he is gonna be more angry than ever. Oh, 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 star bits, by the way. <laughs> you can also use the stars, oh, I mean, that's not stars, the, uh, yeah, the clouds to get on top of them as well, but, eh, eh, it's up to you. <laughs> it's, it works just as fine either way. You have your choice, you can do whatever you please. It's a free market, as you've seen by the Luma eating the, the coinages, you can, yeah. Alright, going up, and up. Oh, Oh, no, he's not, he's not letting me get on his back there. He was tilted sideways, and when it's tilted sideways, you can't really do, do all that much about it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I totally missed! That was a perfect opportunity, and I squandered it. I squandered it horribly. <laughs> Alright, come back around there. Oh, and yeah, there, I guess there's coins around the edges if you want to recover your stuff, but... Eh, mm, 
not super important, I suppose. Oh, there we go, I got him. <laughs> Three hits, bugga boom, is a goner. So I guess that double bug stack type thing was just, you know, the manda bugs just stacked up. I don't know if they really have a name name to them, but well. <laughs> Details, I got the star. We are done. We have completed the world. Got the Comet Medal, nothing else to collect, seemingly. Seemingly. But we will see if we get the Silver Crown of completionness. Will we, will we? No, we will not. Mystery. Mystery. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. And always remember... Ground pound while spinning for a homing ground pound. <laughs> Woo! Oh shoot! Well, I... Oh whatever. Oh whatever. I'm coming back here later anyway. <laughs>